Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to go from 3DS Max to Unity 3D and the actual process that you go through to export all your materials and objects out, you know, quite simply and easily so you can keep everything with you and you don't have to edit too much in Unity and add all your textures separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just create a box in 3DS Max and here's my box, you know, I'm sure everybody knows how to create a box. And if I press M to go to the material editor, and I've got already got like a rocky material, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my box to editable poly. I'm just going to select polygons. This is just an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this texture to each of the sides of this box, just just to show you that it's actually got a texture on when I input this out. So there we go. There's my text on the box, same text on each one, just something very simple just to illustrate what I'm going to do. So if we just close that, what we're going to do from 3ds Max now is we go export, export and then save type as. What you can do is if you don't have it you need to find FBX and FBX you can um, save as other things like dot .object but FBX is always better for using Unity and if you just save it out as whatever you want, I'll just overwrite the rock. And if you press yes, what you'll get is you'll get these options. And what you want to do is on the include options, you want to tick embed media. Because that's what will take your textures from 3ds Max to Unity. So if you press OK, it's just only because it's a very small file. It'll export that out for us. Now if we go into Unity, and I've got my other scene here from one of my other tutorials. What I'm going to do is go import new asset from my Unity and import the rock. And you'll see my rock in this scene. And what we we'll want to do is when you import into Unity, you can just generate colliders and generate light mapping UVs so you can light map and you won't be able to walk through it. And then you can add it to your scene. But my rock needs scaling up slightly, so all you need to do is just, you know, adjust the actual size to what you want it. Click apply. So there's your object from 3ds Max into Unity with pretty much no troubles at all. And it brings all your materials with the textures so you can change everything up quite easily depending on what you're after. So that's pretty much it. If you like the tutorial don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much.